It has Africa's tallest mountain, a tropical spice island, and all the animals that tourists love. But visitors to Tanzania this month could be in for a shock. The government has put an 18% VAT on all tourism services. And behind the fresh flowers and friendly service, many who work in the industry are worried. We've had a cancellation of 40 packs, which was from Canada. It's a substantial amount of money that was involved. But with the VAT coming in, you tell a client, an operator, that the price has gone up by $26,100, he's going to think twice. Hotel prices won't increase as they already pay VAT. The new tax could put the price of a seven-day safari up by $600. And the worry is that tourists may look to Tanzania's neighbours instead. There's only one Mount Kilimanjaro, there's only one roof of Africa, but there are plenty of other places to go on safari. So we did do a three-day safari after the, the climb, and that was very nice. Um, but if we were coming to Africa to do a safari, and it cost 20% more to come to one place versus the other, you know, that would certainly factor into our thinking. If I was looking to, you know, spend my dollar wisely, uh, I may look uh, definitely would look elsewhere um, for a 20% increase because it's already relatively costly. But the president says a drop in visitor numbers is worth the increase in tax revenues and that his ambitious development plan will benefit all Tanzanians. Arusha is the heart of Tanzania's tourism industry, the launch pad for the famous Serengeti and Ngorogoro National Parks. But tour operators here say they are losing tens of thousands of dollars because of the government's decision, and yet the president shows no signs in backing down. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Arusha, Tanzania.